So, no, I don't look at it that way. Now, the Kurds are fighting for their land, just so you understand. They're fighting for their land. And as somebody wrote in a very, very powerful article today, they didn't help us in the Second World War. They didn't help us with Nor Normandy, as an example. They mentioned names of different battles. They were there, but they're there to help us with their land. And that's a different thing. In addition to that, we, we, tr we have spent tremendous amounts of money uh, on helping the Kurds in terms of ammunition, in terms of weapons, in terms of money, in terms of pay. With all of that being said, we like the Kurds. Now, you have different factions in there. Again, you have PKK. That's a different faction. Uh, and they worked with us. It's a rough group, but they worked with us. But we've spent a tremendous — and they're fighting for their land. So when you say they're fighting with us, yes, but they're fighting for the land. Now, if we go on the theory that some of the folks in Washington go by, who all do very well with the military-industrial complex. I mean, you know, the military-industrial complex — take a look at Dwight Eisenhower. He had it figured right many years ago. It's got tremendous power. They like fighting. They make a lot of money when they fight. But it was time to bring our soldiers back home. So I see, and I will tell you, the hardest thing I have to do, by far, much harder than the witch hunt, is signing letters to parents of soldiers that have been killed.